Hi guys, Ash here and in this tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to swap the internal and external memory cards. Uh, so guys, uh, the prerequisite for this is your phone needs to be rooted. The Galaxy S3 international version needs to be rooted and you need to not be on CM9 or CM10 because this method does not work with Cyanogen mod releases. So as long as you're on an AOSP or AOKP or a TouchWiz based build, there are no issues, this will work. All right guys, so moving on. Uh, so how, what, ex what we exactly do over here is increase your memory. So I have a 16 gig Samsung Galaxy S3. So going into uh, storage here, you can see that I have about 11.35 GB of usable memory uh, internal. And right now I'm, I'm using an 8, 8 gig uh, micro SD card. But say for example, if I'm using a 64 gig micro SD card, and I still go ahead and download a lot of games. All the extra game data uh, that I download will still go ahead and get uh, downloaded to the internal memory. So if you're somebody who uses a lot of apps and a lot of games, uh, it is easy for you to run out of the 11.35 11, 11 gigs. So in that case, what we're gonna go ahead and do right here is we're gonna swap the internal and external memories so that uh, your SD card memory will be 11.35 gigs and your device memory would show as 64 gigs or 32 gigs or whatever micro SD card you use all right guys the first thing you do is go ahead and uh, get your memory card out uh, remove the micro SD card uh, so guys uh, generally when you're doing this make sure you have at least a class 6 or a class 10 card uh, you know it will work with the others too just uh, the performance might not be as good so uh, uh, you know, you actually, I mean, for this to make sense, you need to use a 32 gig card at least because the phone has 11.35 gigs. But just to show you how this works, I'm going to be using an 8 gig card over here just to show how the process works. Uh, Alright. So guys, in this tutorial, I'll also be showing you how to do this and how to roll back in case you don't like the mod and you just want to go back to the way things were. So, just get a... Uh, micro SD card adapter plug it into the computer and connect your card all right so here you can see it's a 7.46 uh, is the usable memory what you do is right click hit format and format it as fat32 all right or you can format it as xfat as well so generally for 16 and uh, 32 gig cards you can format it as FAT32 and if it's a 64 gig card use XFAT because you won't be able to uh, format it by as FAT32. Alright so uh, allocation size default and hit quick format and start. Alright guys the format is now complete so close it and uh, just to double check right click properties and you see that the file system says fat fat 32 all right uh, so what you do right now is just uh, unplug the card from the reader and uh, pop it back into the s3 so here you see the card is empty and that's the phone memory all right uh, what you do right now guys is head on to this thread that will be in link 1 alright and uh, if you have formatted it as xfat select xfat if you have formatted it as fat32 select fat32 and select custom kernel only so saved it and now that's done uh, go ahead hit link 2 and that will take you to this website CR kernel for S2 and S3 and download the latest CR kernel download zip for clockwork mod recovery alright I, ha I have it downloaded already so uh, let me quickly go to that alright now what you do is copy these two files onto the external SD 
all right guys now that it's done uh, we're done with the PC part of this tutorial so let's get to the phone now all right guys what we do right now is hold the up volume power and home keys at the same time the phone will reboot keep holding it till you see Samsung Galaxy S3 displayed on screen and once you see that you can you can let the three keys go so right now we are in clockwork mode based recovery so guys what's recommended here is you flash a new ROM while you do this process so starting from fresh is the safest method or the easiest method uh, to go ahead with this but if in case you do not want to go ahead and switch to a new ROM you just want to go ahead and keep the existing ROM it is still possible so if you're gonna go ahead and flash a new ROM what you do right now is just go ahead and then uh, do a wipe, uh, wipe data factory reset, wipe cache partition, uh, wipe down the cache and install your new ROM and continue from what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna go ahead and flash a new ROM guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how this is done if and how, how to do this procedure and still maintain your existing ROM. So what you do is go into install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD and scroll down uh, scroll down to uh, external and internal swap and uh, select the CR uh, kernel and hit yes install and now that's done go back I mean uh, choose it from SD again and scroll and select uh, the external SD uh, extra SD to internal SD dot zip and hit yes finished enjoy your memory increase now so right now all you need to do is just go back and hit reboot system now all right guys we're up here so just to quickly show you going into settings here and uh, storage there you see my total storage in the device memory shows at 7.47 which is my 8GB uh, micro SD card and the SD card shows as 11.35 so guys uh, right now I've connected the Galaxy S3 onto my laptop alright and uh, there you see again uh, the internal memory is showing as the card memory and the 8GB micro SD shows as the phone memory so what we do right now is go ahead and copy everything off the card memory and move it onto the phone memory alright so this is done in case if you have any apps or games installed already this is done in order to avoid any kind of conflicts and for all your apps and games to continue working alright guys right now uh, if you've tried this out and you uh, you know you're not happy with it for any reason you want to go ahead and uh, roll back and get back to your you know the settings as it was that is the uh, get the micro SD back to micro SD and you know do the uh, do the swap and do the swap what you need to do is go ahead and download ES file explorer of the market it's a free app download it and once the app is opened uh, hit settings uh, the menu button go into settings scroll down and select root explorer hit yes and you will get a pop-up over here asking uh, a grant or allow and deny hit allow or grant when the super user uh, prompts you and also select mount file system and once you've done this go back tap on favorites and hit the slash over here and now scroll down uh, you will find etc and over here you will find init.d and then inside that you will find 11 x SD to internal SD so tap and hold it and delete it okay so once this is deleted so again guys just showing you before the reboot of the phone your AGB memory card is showing as the internal and your internal memory is showing as the SD so now that we've deleted it just go ahead hold the power button hit restart So we're back up guys 
so now I'm going into settings again storage and there you see the internal is back as internal and your external is back as external so now again guys connect to the computer and transfer all your all the stuff of the external back onto the internal SD so that you know whatever apps and games you have will continue to function so that is how it works so that's pretty much it guys if you want to go ahead and uh, swap the internal and external memories for the Galaxy S3 to increase your storage capacity uh, so if you guys have any uh, questions leave it in the comment section or you guys can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or you can uh, email me directly all my contact details are in the description so if you guys uh, want to do me a favor use my links to Amazon in the description uh, the one that says to buy an S3 or S3 accessories Use those links. Uh, you don't have to necessarily purchase S3 related stuff. If there's anything you wanna that you could purchase off Amazon, go through my links, and I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks, uh, no matter what you purchase. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That is, if you guys wanna help me out, and moreover, before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons, because uh, I will be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy S3 i9 300. Uh, Till then guys, thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.